There are seven seals, and seven mountains of magnificent stones. In the right hand of Vin that sat on the throne was a book, written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. There is a flaming fire, and beyond the mountains is a region the end of the great earth. There the heavens were completed. There is a deep abyss, with columns of heavenly fire, and among them are columns of fire that fall, which are beyond measure alike towards the height and towards the depth. Your Lord is the all-knowing Creator. We have given you seven of the pairs. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. The Great Spirit will restore the Native American tribes to their sovereign rights in their lands. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity on the astral plane, but it's really a human with bad breath and smelly feet. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, Praise the Lord, for he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard, 